Hello, welcome to our Zoom session discussing some phrases and words in Bulgarian. And my guest is Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. By the way, I had um, people leaving comments and saying that the heater pattern you recorded was really nice. They enjoyed so much. So <laughs> from on their behalf, I'll ask you to record a few more, please. Okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. The reason for this Zoom session is to discuss some interesting words and phrases in Bulgarian. So, um, first, let me ask this. You've lived in Bulgaria for how many years? I think 12 years. So, uh, you were 12 when you came to the UK. Mm -hmm. Good. So, there is a chance you don't remember or you don't know some of the words and the phrases. So, mm -hmm. it will be interesting what you're going to say and what you think about these words and phrases. So let me check if you heard this one. Vali garmi treshti. Yes. <laughs> Can you give a translation in English? It's raining, thundering, thundering. treshti. Mm. Another thundering, but it's stronger. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's like the weather. It's Good. raining, thundering, and thundering. <laughs> yeah, but it means, I think you can say like, um, if they are raining, pouring like cats and dogs, that kind of thing. But we, I think we associate with if there are even stones falling from the sky, you're still going to work. You're still doing something. So you use this it doesn't matter. I'm still going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can play a victim, I think, if you want. But the the idea is that it doesn't matter what's happening around you. You're still going and doing what you're doing. We have another phrase like that. Con scapazzi. Oh, that is different. Oh, conscapazzi, I like it. <laughs> so what's that horse with, what's that? The blinders. The blinders. Conscapazzi. Con that means, conscapazzi means that you are not interested in what other people say, what's happening around you. You're kind of blunt, like going and doing what you want. Mm-hmm. No distractions. No no distractions, but sometimes it has a slightly negative meaning to that. He's going like, Com scapazzi. We will go through you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I have here written some phrases and I have this, and I always read it like, Kyufte, maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, Kofti, Kofti Hava. Kofti Hava. When something doesn't work out very well. Yeah, you also can say kriva hava. When I don't really use the word hava, so I'm not yeah. sure how to translate hava. It's like a joke, like like something bad. Hava situation is job when things are not good, bad things, like maybe. Um, something bad is happening to you or you're in a situation when you have this unexpected, what is it, challenge, whatever, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is kofti hava. Now I have to deal with this stuff. Mm -hmm. You said you didn't um, know mahala. Oh, it was different. Mahala. Mahala? Could do, uh, like... The area that you live in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mahala. I think it was like place, you know, these small villages and they, um, especially in the mountain and there are different levels and you can see, oh, Mahala up there. <laughs> As Otivam v Gornata Mahala. I'm going to the upper area. Water? 
Yeah, you're going this small part of the town. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, folk tales they use this. Like a region of something. Yeah. Like in American English, they say blocks. I think they have the same meaning. Five, I live mm -hmm. five blocks. Yes. So well, that's for buildings in particular, whereas Mahala can be several buildings as a group. Yeah. So it's kind of like saying, I guess, in London, you can go to Chinatown. Yeah. So that can be a sort of Mahala. I suppose so. Yeah, probably. Mahala. It sounds like maha, <laughs> maha, and then you add la. Mahala means something different. Then I had interesting word the other day came. I haven't used it. I haven't heard it for a long time. And it's kokona. Kokona. Yes. Is that like uh like somebody like a lady who's trying to look very pretty? She's very That's very nicely said. Okay. <laughs> Used I'm to, trying to be nice. <laughs> it used to be used for women who use lots of makeup. Okay. Kokona. Lots of makeup and, you know, that was the meaning. I mm -hmm. think I was when I heard that. Maybe it's still used somewhere. Sometime. It's different now. Now it's Kifla. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> When I was growing up in school, they called them kifli, <laughs> kifla. And also it means when it's cold outside and it's winter, they have bare legs and short shorts or something like that, but no tights, no long jeans. Uh, they're exposed. They don't feel the cold. Lots of makeup. Yeah. So that's the expression, kifla. And uh, kifla. <laughs> What's kifla in English? I guess it's a pastry. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't even know how to make kifla to accurately describe what it is in English. Yeah, it's a pastry. Yeah, we can, you can find like a similar pastry. English, similar pastry. Is it a sweet pastry? <laughs> yeah. Like sponge something okay <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> kifla you can search online and find it kifla that's interesting but mm -hmm. i think um because that was unusual like something unusual back then well probably now many people women do that so it will be strange the makeup lots of makeup and you said the winter going, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's not very strange, yeah, anymore, yeah, yeah. it's more strange if it's the opposite, <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> you know i it was funny how I found um different words I have heard a lot because we have some Turkish words in our language because of the history, and I don't know if you've heard this word, tabihet, tabihet. Or some people also say tabihet. Maybe no. people can leave comments down. But it means navik, tabihet, hmm. navik. Or oh, what else? The, he, he is that kind of person. So it's a habit, a manner, nature of the person. Or, oh, for example, you can say he has the tabi hat to do something every time. Like he has the the nerve, the habit to, I don't know, probably, you know. Oh, that was very, oh, probably some people still do it, you know. Turning pages. Mm -hmm. And they, they were doing, so this is sort of tabi hat. Uh, Any words? The behead? Yeah. Well, you can say that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a Turkish word. Okay. There was a Turkish word in the Hitter Petter story as well. Which one? 
um, about the judge and when he was addressing the judge saying Kadi Effendi. Ah, uh, yeah, but that is um, how how he addresses to the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about? Have you heard about Otanto na kukurigo? <laughs> Well, there is another so otantu na kukurigo otran na glok mm. mm -hmm. vyatar yes odash na vyatar so one is bad the other one is bad so either <laughs> it's bad <laughs> no good so from mm -hmm. one bad to another bad maybe for marriages and men <laughs> <laughs> All situations, I don't know <laughs> but you're saying from one bad thing to another. Otran na glock. Otush na vyatar. Either you are wet soaking or you know the wind. Otanto na kukurigo. I have no idea about the origin of this phrase, otanto na kukurigo, but it sounds funny. Tanto, what is tanto in particular? No idea. Kukurigo, we know what kukurigo is. Kukurigo! <laughs> I suppose it has to be the same. <clears throat> I think it's made from a crazy person to another crazy or something like that. Because you say... That's true, kukurigo. because kukurigo can mean, isn't it also the birds doing kukurigo in the morning and waking you up, but also someone crazy? Yeah, but in yeah, but in this case, is someone who is kind of crazy, like when okay. he or she is kukurigo. Mm. So tanto na kukurigo basically probably means exactly that from a crazy to another crazy <laughs> situation. Oh, okay. Never. Do you know any other words or phrases? Probably. But I don't know right now if I can think of them on the spot. <laughs> ah, okay. What about dva pati meri e din pat reji? I think there is something in Yes. Frame. So you're, you're measuring twice, cutting once. So you're really well prepared. Yeah. So it's before making a choice thing twice or, you know, whatever. Do your research. Pet pari v žoltica. Oh, pet pari v žoltica. Pet Pet pari v kesija. Why? Because five coins in a... What kesija? You know the... These things... How do you call it? Pouch? 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 Pouch. Pouch. So you have these coins in the pouch and they have lots of space. So it's empty. Like they can, you know, take the space they want. It's not crowded. So when I say he feels like pet, but if kesia, it oh, and there's another phrase as well, means that he feels good. There is lots of space. It's more like shiroko moe okoluvrata. It's the same. Like he he or, he or she feels um how to explain that it's not good it's it's like they they can do they can feel it first they have lots of self esteem and they can feel they can do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think there is um, this, you know, when someone say, Oh, toy um sedergi is toy katupet parivkisia means he doesn't have um, lots of problems, things to think about. Shirokumuelkovrata he doesn't have um many responsibilities, so kind of can act um irresponsibly sometimes so can do whatever they want that kind of thing mm -hmm. wow. I thought of another one yeah nafsyaka manja merudia that's mm -hmm. a good one nafsyaka manja merudia 
Yeah, that's someone who is nosy. <laughs> What's yeah. here? What's here? <laughs> exactly. Nancy Akaman wants to know everything and go in and like. But when you said that there is another one, Turkul no Lucy Garneto, Nameri Lucy Pohlupaka. Turkul no Lucy Garneto, that means the pot rolled over and found the. Found its lid. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's when two people, like a man and woman, they are the perfect match. And people usually say, Turkul no Lucy Garneto. Also, there is another saying, Kato dve kapki voda. That's um, There was something here, I can't remember, but Kato dve kapki voda means like they look, look alike. Mm -hmm. Two drops of water, they look alike. Alo, lika prilika. Lika prilika. <laughs> da. <laughs> Pesa si lika prilika. <laughs> ah, another one. Hvani e dinia. Blas ni drugi. Hvani e dinia. No, it's... Whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I hope people can find that interesting and funny and amusing. <laughs> I do. Going, it's like, it looks like going to the attic or maybe attic and find forgotten suitcases or something. And you're going through old stuff and finding, you know, these things and memories. And for me, it feels that way. <laughs> All the phrases you used to read about and say and hear. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't really get a chance to use many of them every day. True. We also have this saying, Kazana Duma, Khvrlen Kamak. Do you know it? Mm hmm. You say something and you can hurt somebody with it, essentially. Yeah, the idea is the word you're saying, it's like thrown stone, you can't get it back. I mean, you have to go and, you know, the idea is you throw it, you say the word once. And, yeah, Kaza Khvrlen Kamak. I think there's so many words and phrases and some of them are idioms, some of them are, I don't know, like, not sure, but... Yeah, they're different. You can hear. Sometimes we use it. Like last time when we talked and I was saying the... Um, what was that? Bachkam. I, I use that. Bachkam. Mm -hmm. Which is... Uh, That's slang, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's slang for robotia, work. Robotia, I'm working. Bachkam. Yeah. Yeah, so, there's lots of slang as well. The uh, things like I lack is now very popular. It's probably a word in its own. I lack I think means that you're idle, you're not doing anything, you're just chilling. But I think that's a Turkish word as well. Yeah. Like the behet, I lack. It's interesting when you think, you know, when you're learning a language and you're learning first the alphabet, then you're learning some simple words, then you are trying to make sentences and making sense. And then when you think how rich each language is because of this kind of words and phrases and hidden meanings, and how much time do you need to say, oh, I can feel, I can breathe this language and I can speak it that way. So for you, it took how many years? Because now you can um, speak in English fluently. You have perfect English. So it's, do you feel that way that you are, you should, you know, at this level? Yes. I don't know how long it took me. Maybe, maybe a few years for sure. But then... 
maybe a few years. I haven't felt a big difference, but that's specific to me because I grew up in the country and I was young when I started speaking and being surrounded by English all the time, having to do schoolwork in English. So it just became uh, the thing that I had to do. And so I never stopped to think about how well I know English at this point or how comfortable I feel. And yeah, I would say a few years is how long it took me. But now that I'm studying a new language, it's definitely taking me longer because I'm not in the country. I'm not speaking to people from that country. I'm not constantly trying to think and develop my thought process in that language. So it might take longer for the new ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the thing is exactly that when you are in that environment, when you study, when you're at school, it's easier and you don't feel it that way. But when you're learning language, different language, especially from afar, as you said, and um, you don't practice every day, it can take time. Mm -hmm. And you need to be... When you practice languages, <laughs> yes, or don't practice the language, or <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> means really very. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other words or phrases? I can't think of any right now. Because when I think of one, I realize you just said it in the video and that's why I thought of it. <laughs> uh, so, okay. so I can't think of any other ones, but I'm sure there are more. Oh yeah, there are many, many more. Well, I'm sure we'll see some of them in the Hitler Better stories as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, we can make another video about something else, I think. But for now, we can say... I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Do you want to promote your channel? I am at Christiana, I think. I can send you a link that you can put in the description so you can find me there. Definitely. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.